afternoon campers and welcome back to Lotus Operations and in today's video we are going to talk about the four horsemen of a shit hit the fan situation as I call it. Okay guys and welcome back and as I mentioned today we are going to be talking about the four horsemen of a shit hit the fan situation. Now this is not the end of the world for horsemen like the biblical people try to say. But this is what I call the four horsemen of a survival situation. And they are your religious uh, crazy people out there who takes things way too far. You've got your raiders or your um, looters as we call them nowadays. You're going to have your militarized people. And you're going to be having your normal... Um, more of like controlling style civilizations who band together but they become more like a dictatorship style leadership okay guys and so as i mentioned we've got four types of people in a shit hit the fan scenario that you really need to worry about if you're trying to rebuild a congregation or a city or a town or a community in general and the first ones that you really need to worry about is your religious extremists as i call them now these are going to be the types of people who will take everything overboard as you see in the movies they will try to blame everything on god they'll try to say oh this is god's work for punishing you you all need to do this those type of people are extremely dangerous not because of their religious views but because of how far they can take things for example if you will have someone in your camp who's trying to betray you or steal your food or who tries to screw the community over and you want to get rid of them or stuff like that they may be the types who on one extreme will be too nice who doesn't want to banish them or kill them or remove them from the society because they're afraid of committing acts against God as they would say it then you got the other extreme those religious people who if you don't believe in their God or you don't believe the way they do they're going to banish you or kill you or punish you because you're going against their beliefs and their mindsets the second extremist of people that we need to worry about is the raiders, as I call them, or the looters, as the modern day uh, calling is. Now, the looters problem with that you need to worry about is these are the type of people who's not going to care about your feelings, about what your status is, what you do, stuff like that. They're coming to steal what you have, and they will kill you on the spot, and or rape your women, or freaking, like torment you or whatever way because they don't care about human society they only want to take what they deem is theirs and they will take everything from you and kill you if necessary to get it so those are the types of people you have to watch out for because anything and everything you have becomes a target for their um for their potential gain the third horseman that you need to worry about is the militarized group now these people are going to go with the military mindset this could be good, this could be bad. The good part is if, if you are within their society, you know you're going to have protection, you know you're going to have weapons, you know you're going to have a secured fortress, that it's going to be hard for the other two extreme people to enter if they deem unworthy to enter into this camp. Or it can go into the other extreme, you've got these militarized groups who will literally raid other groups and use military tactics to take over your communities and take your stuff even though they may not kill everyone there they're still going to implement military control and now you have to follow the military law if you want to survive with them or stay within the community and the fourth set of people that you really need to worry about is your normal people in a regular community it may seem decent that everyone's going to um, want to work together as a human society that everyone's going to want to be unified to be um, together but in a shit hit the fan survival situation the normal people will go crazy the normal people will turn against other people for their own benefits and their own good and unfortunately these are the people who are the most dangerous because these are the people that you're going to trust the most so i hope you found this warning kind of informational um in a way um and stay tuned for more survival videos i'm trying to build them as we go and lotus operations out